Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the H3 Podcast. This whole story started with Ethan taking one big risk. The incel community, these whole red pills, they don't attract other women. And they make everything worse because they are just trying to be cool to all the other red and black pillars that they're so, they become so bitterly unattractive because of shit like this. No sane person would ever want to have anything to do with you because you are so bitterly unattractive. You're obsessed with other people's masculinity. You're obsessed with what's fair in the world. You're obsessed with with all these issues of cuck and simp and all the, and chads. It's like, bro, how do you know you are the most unfuckable person that ever lived? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, incel community? I'll make it really short. As much as I don't want to admit it, I kind of have been enjoying making videos, as embarrassing as that sounds. However, you don't make shit on YouTube anymore, so I'm selling some top quality clothes. And I know some people are thinking, did you really just make a video just to promote, like, clothes? And the answer to that is yes. And before you say anything, take a seat. This video is not sponsored by audible however if it could be sponsored by audible it would be i mean the way i justify it is dude if shane dawson and jeffree star and james charles can wear makeup in every goddamn video just promoting their own fucking makeup brand like every single video bro they're just promoting their own makeup then you can bet your ass dude i'm gonna sit here and pitch to you for one minute I think that's fair. So if you're not sold, sit the fuck down because I'm about to sell you the shit out of these goddamn clothes, alright? Okay, so I got the domain. The domain was expensive. The clothes are expensive in a good way. They're very nice. Uh, I'm not just saying that. They're very comfy. The designs were made by Mew. Uh, Mew was in this video. Why did Dr. Disrespect get banned? I'm only gonna say it once. Don't make me make a video about you. You're still talking about this too? Honestly, I don't even remember how I met Mew, but Mew's been on my Skype for like five years now, so, uh, hang on one second. Dude, you're not like 14 years old, right? No, I'm 12. Alright, sick. This is fucking disgusting, Pete. <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, yeah, anyone that buys a hoodie can leave a voicemail. I'm making another video where I just listen to the voicemails. First drop is only going to last five days because it costs money to make these, and I just want a rough guess of how many people want one. So yeah, you're not sold yet? Well, how about now? Look at that thing. That thing looks fucking nice. Look at this one. Bro, that one looks really sick. Look at this one. Look at that one. Look at these socks. Dude, these are some sick socks. Do you want only Jimmy Kimmel on here? Because I'm not going to be tacky about this, but if you don't buy, I'm going to go bye-bye. I'm only doing this part-time anyways, bro. I'll peace out. To those of you asking the question, what about that thing you were doing with Keemstar and Rice Gum? And yes, I'm still going to be doing that stuff with them. However, I'm not going to lie. If this one ends up outselling the other one, expect Why Am I Getting Hate Part 2. More videos coming soon. Soon. Anyone that doesn't at least buy one sock, if not four hoodies, is fucking gay. Suck my dick. Well, I, I would love people saying, "Oh, dude, if you come back, I would love leave." These whole red pills, they don't attract other women, and they make everything worse because they're just trying to be cool to all the other red and.